I am 6 a.m. got my iPhone, my iPad, Mac, all logged in and still losing. So what? Yeah, I got the I got, I get every one, so <laughs> listen, if we're the same size, yeah, I know you got a pair of boots for me anyway, yeah. Yes, people, I'm here at the new Crystal Palace Academy training ground, about to meet Academy prospect Jaden Raymond, and he's gonna show me and tell me how he gets ready for a match day. Bro. All right. You good? Nice to meet you. You too, bro. Um, when you turn up every day, how does looking at that motivate you? It's really inspiring because, you know, I know all these players that since I've been growing up, like especially like some of the more recent ones, especially like Jez playing with him in the academy, it's like, it's inspiring knowing that there's a pathway here, so. What, what would it do for you as a person to see your face up there or like all over Sellers Park or in the area? I mean, it's, it'll be a dream, innit? But um, I think just to, to focus on my football and then hopefully, you know, that does the talking at the end, so. The club have re uh, recently started this three-year care plan. Do you think that's a good idea? Is it something that should be done for all clubs or? Yeah, definitely. I think that, you know, it's kind of like a, like a safety net for some of the players. Um, I feel like, you know, you see so many footballers drop out and they don't know what to do or, you know, it can go, it can go wrong for anyone. So, you know, to have that like insurance there, is kind of like a real support, like mentally. All right, cool. Well, today is all about you. So you're going to show me around and how you get ready for a match day. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. All right, so this training ground is mad. Like I remember when it was the goals before. Um, do you, does it affect you thinking, right, I've got all of this, does it, do you feel like you've made it already or are you, is your head screwed on? No, I feel like, because especially our age, we came up through playing like at goals and at like scrappy pitches. To have this, it's like, it's a privilege, so we know it's a privilege. So like when we get to play on here, it's like, you know, we just, we just use it to our advantage. So like all the gym, the facilities, we all make the most of it because we know like how it is before. Yeah. So we don't lose that like kind of mindset where it's like, oh, we got this now, so you know we can relax. It's like we got this, so it's time to work harder. So yeah, love that, love that. I hope people are listening. Um, how does it match up to like your Wells training ground and stuff like? Because you're Wells International, don't like hope like uh, just put that out there. You yeah. are a Wells International. So when you get called up and you go to where's the training ground? Or where's the um, training camp? Dragon Park, like in Cardiff. So how does it match up to that? Yeah, no, this is this is kind of similar. Like it's, the pictures are always nice. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of always flying out to different countries, so we're not really spending much time there. Um, but yeah, compared to this, I reckon it's on par. <laughs> See, you're sponsored by Adidas. Yeah. How does it come about? Like, did your agent sort it or like? Yeah, I mean, like when I was playing, like when I got my first um, couple of call-ups for international football, um, they kind of contacted my agent and said, like, um, you know, we want we want Jaina to work with us. So. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Adidas are giving me a lot of love, so, you know. Decent. Yeah. You must not struggle for raffles, but boy, listen, every morning, every month, I am 6 a.m., got my iPhone, yeah. my iPad, Mac, all logged in and still losing, so what? Yeah, I got the, I get, I get every one, so. <laughs> listen, if we're the same size, yeah, I know you got a pair of boots for me anyway, yeah? Um, I see your TikTok booming, you got your YouTube channel. What made you do that? I know it was, I know you partly said it was my podcast, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just feel like, you know, like what we do in a day, a lot of people are interested in it. I get a lot of questions about, um, you know, what we do. So I thought, you know, you might as well film it and put it out there. Like I try to keep my head screwed on with that stuff, but you got to remember that like, where I am, I'm still playing, you know, under 18, you know, I'm trying to work, so yeah. No, you're very modest, you're very modest. But um, yeah, man, show me inside. Let's go inside and show me inside. Yeah, this is this is proper. This is proper. So, how often do you train in here? Um, probably like two sessions a week in here, and then obviously like if it's raining, we'll be in there all week. But yeah, normally two sessions a week. Ah, decent. So, when you are training, who's your toughest opponent? Um, like when I'm attacking, definitely going against Ryan, Ryan Bartley. He's a yeah, he's a good defender. So I hate going against him. And then. When I'm defending, probably Finn, because he's like, ooh. Techie, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. And is there anyone like your age or like academy players that are playing Prem that you think that you look up to and aspire to, you know, emulate? Yeah, I'm definitely Michael Olise. Okay. Like yeah. the way I know he's a couple years, a year older than me. Um, but the way he plays, like his play style is like what I want to be like. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I watch him whenever I can. Like I go to the first team games and yeah. Like decent, because I think him, Eze, yourself, you're like street ballers and you just express yourself on the pitch, which is very good. Yeah. So yeah, hats off to you. See that? You got a bit? A little bit. Right, let's go, let's go. Okay, I've challenged Jaden at Tech Ball. Never played it before. Yeah, let's go. One nil. What are you saying? First to three, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Two. I can't get whitewashed. I must get a point. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. We've established tech ball's not for me. <laughs> I'm more of a crossbar challenge man, yeah? But yeah, Jaden, show us the rest of the training ground. I've actually never been in like an academy or professional training changing room before. This is mad. Like, does this make you feel like you're at Sellers Park? Yeah, it's literally the same as Sellers. Like, um, the way the lights are, the seats, everything. So it, like, it replicates. Like, if you do get there, then that's what it'll be like. Where do you normally sit? Um, normally I sit like there. I like to have a bit of space, but <laughs> I'm on my own. So, yeah. um, is that one of your superstitions? Um, not, I wouldn't say a superstition, but I just, I'm a person that I like my own, my own space, you know. You don't, you don't want to be cramped up changing next to that like, in the corner, in the corner there, you don't want that, you don't want that seat, so. No, I think, I think, I think I'd take that seat, like, like all the space and that, I'd just be like, be loud and that, get me, yeah. get me king of the change room. Um, so what other, what routines do you do before a match, that superstitions, like, are you first in, last in, what sort of things get you ready? Um, I wouldn't say I have no like real superstitions, but I know a couple, couple of the guys. Um, they do like right foot on the pitch, yeah. stuff like that. I'm not really um, that superstitious, but I just like to have my hair in a certain way. I have it always tied back with a wristband on my wrist. But every time I play without it, um, I get injured. So <laughs> yeah, that's my only superstition. Okay, I need something on my wrist the whole time. What's that? Um Rusted thing or yeah, I'm trying to copy my dad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were just doing a banner <laughs> or something. Um, who, who controls the music? Are you a music man? Um, I'm I'm second DJ. I'm second choice. Oh, okay. So when Adam Rola is not here, I'm on it. But the um, rest of the time, Adam Rola, yeah, he's a DJ. Oh, what sort of tunes are you playing in the change room? Uh, a lot of like mainstream, like um, Little Baby and that. But me, I like to play that something a bit different. Um, I just switch it up. So sometimes, like on Fridays pre-match, I do some like reggae, reggae days. Okay. So, you know, it's a chill day. You're not normally doing too much. But then on match day, you want to turn it up, like you know, some drill. Maybe you know, you mix it up. You yeah, know, decent, you, decent. You never know. So, does does your routine change or like your as your environment change because you're an international? The, do you do things differently or is it always the same? Yeah, definitely. It's a different culture. Like South London, like everyone. Most of the team is from South London, so you know how boys are. Um, but then when I go away, like Wales, it's a completely different culture. So um, like different accents, different like types of you know people to get used to. So like when I get on the music or something, they might not like it. <laughs> they might not appreciate it the same way that they would here, which is understandable yeah. because you know it's like it's got a different culture. But like they kind of like the house music. You know, yeah, I get you. I get you. <laughs> So, yeah. Headbanger stuff. Like yeah, that. that's kind of the main difference. Um, but the rest, I get on with them well, um, either way, so. Okay, last little bit from me. Um, is there any requests you have for the kit man? Like, some people like cut socks, some people like, you know, their own, like, you know, socks with the grip, yeah. all of that. Is there anything you say to the kit man, right, I need this? Yeah, always, always. Um, the cut socks is like, is a must, basically, <laughs> because you can't train in one sock all week and then play in a different yeah, sock. Yeah, yeah. It feels like different, so. They need to keep the same sock. Okay, okay. Who washes your boots? No one washes my I wash my own. Okay, better, better. <laughs> keep the conditions. All right, cool. What else you got to show me? Uh, gym. Right, let's go. Team. Let's go. All right, so show me the gym. How often are you in it? Um, every day we do a session like before and sometimes after um, training. So 
Yeah, we're in here quite a lot, a lot of the time. So. Do you have any um, gym routines to help you get ready for a match, like pre-match? Yeah, I'm always in there before a game and then, yeah, just preparing for, for like, because you know in a game you're going to do a lot of like different movements, yeah. so yeah, I'm always in there before a game. What about recovery? Is this where you do your recovery as well? You do that somewhere? Yeah, so we, we change the gym, so we set all the mats out and then uh, we go for a recovery routine. And yeah, so. You don't seem like one of them people who just gets a mat and just lays down and just busts his joke. Nah, you seem like you're on it, yeah? Nah, yeah, we, we have to, you have to like concentrate, even in like recovery. Um, I feel like it's one of the most important things, so yeah. Uh, with gym comes food, so let's show, us the, show me the canteen, yeah? Uh, so this is the canteen, yeah? It looks like a a la carte restaurant, yeah? What's your like favorite pre-match meal? Um, I always have salmon pasta before a game. Um, I always get it myself. Like I go to Tesco the night before. I make sure I get it prepped for, for the game. So yeah. Tesco, no Waitrose and Vanessa. Nah. <laughs> keep it keep it local. Um, you get taught to to cook. You get taught what foods are bad. Like, did you know about all of that before? Yeah. Has Palace opened that up for you. I mean, like Palace have been really good with like cooking lessons and stuff. Like we'd have education days and then we'd have cooking lessons after that. So they taught us meals we can make at home and stuff. And yeah, they've always, like, since we were young, they're telling us the importance of like eating right and, you know, getting the right fuel in our body. So yeah. Oh, good. Um, what's your go-to meal? Like if you're at home and it's no match, like in the summer, what sort of things are you cook? Can you cook? <laughs> I can cook a little bit, but yeah. my main thing's like salmon. I, oh, okay. I'm good at cooking salmon. Like, I even put a bit of jerk on there sometimes. Oh, decent, you know? decent. Yeah. All right, well, we're in the canteen. Go yeah, cook me up, <laughs> isn't it? I don't, I'm not that good, I'm not that good. Nah, bro, thank you. Thank you for showing me around. No problem. I hope to see you in the first team and I'll come down and watch you, mate. Thank you. you throw me some tickets. <laughs>